G'day, I'm ET and welcome to the show. Well, this week I'm up at Port Stephens and we're chasing marlin. And have a look at this beautiful black marlin. A very stubborn fish, didn't want to come in, but we've got lots of action on the show. Let's check it out. There's kingfish from a kayak. Oh, it's a king. Okay, buddy. I grabbing? show you how to catch the bait to catch an elbow slapping whiting. That's a beautiful whiting. And most of all, there's jumpin', hootin', high voltage marlin action. Oh, holy moly! And it's all single handed. That is a jumpin' fish. Think blue water billfish, and this is the image that most likely comes to mind. But these days, there are even more exciting ways to hunt the mighty marlin. And today, my choice is by trailer boat. With the help of Sergeant Rental, I've towed my Quintrex Trident 690 up to Port Stephens. And to make it even more interesting, I plan to do the fishing and run the boat single-handed. And as I follow the big game boats out of port towards the early morning sun, the signs of a good day ahead soon come my way. A spectacular dawn dance of dolphin and seabirds is a sure indication of bait fish in big numbers. And where there are bait fish balling up, there must be billfish close by. So I decide to troll a lure or two as my opening gambit of the day. Well, what a beautiful day. I'm out on the 690 Trident. We've got the new U Butte E-Tac on the back. Now this is the G2. It's a 250. It's an absolute machine. Incredible motor. I only got put on yesterday, so I'm very excited about the run out here. We're out fishing just north of the car park. At the moment, the Garmin's saying about 94 fathoms. So anywhere from 85 to 94 fathoms is a pretty good mark. You wouldn't believe it. I just tested a lure, put it in the water. We were all setting up and boom, Marlin hit straight away. Unfortunately, he threw the hook after its second jump. I'm just picking up some live baits at the moment. Now here we go, what do we got? Oh ho ho! But look at those for slimies. Absolute cracking Marlin baits. It's always exciting on a day when it's so perfectly flat like this. The water's a nice temperature, we had 23.7. I've got the beautiful Garmin sounders and plotters up the front. You can see the bait just all queued up. And with dolphin patrolling above them, it's not long before I get a result. Yeah, that's a, that's a marlin. Just take the slack up on it. Trying to get the hook just to slide up into his mouth. There we go. It's definitely a marlin, 100%. A lot of weight there. Oh, there he is. Beautiful. That's what we're after. Come on, buddy. All right, what I'm going to do, see, I'm, I'm a lone bandit. Uh, lighten up a bit. Oh. Now, this is the trick of the trade. And you just come out with the cameraman, and the cameraman's got a film. <laughs> well, it's all left for me to drive the boat. And it's always best to fight the fish out of a corner like this. And I've just got it on its side, so. I can sneak up there and, and get a bit more line on. Yeah. 
but doing it all solo is no easy task. Oh. <laughs> now this is a battle. When you got to uh, try to land a marlin by your lonesome, always a difficult thing to do. You can pull a bit of line, that's good. This is what we want him to do, just pulling the line under pressure, under drag pressure. This beautiful Stella's got a great drag system. And the more he pulls on that rod and the line, the better chance I'm going to have of landing him. Woo! Now this is fishing. Oh. Just got to get that real. I don't mind him being up there, but I certainly don't want him to go around the boat. That's perfect. He's, oh, beautiful. Oh, there she is on top. I'm going to get over to her. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. And what a day, hey? Really careful with the trace because they can land on that trace and it's 80 pound, but it's not very strong for a big marlin like this. And they can just jump all over that leader and that's why you have a nice solid leader, but she's going down a bit now. That's okay. All right. Next, yep, she's going down. Just tiring herself out down there, working herself against this drag of the Stella. Oh, she's going right under the boat. I'll loosen the drag a little bit. Under the boat. And I'm going to have to go under there too. So I've let the drag go. I've got to hold the boat, hold the rod as low as I can to get under all my bits and up over the top. Whew. All right, now the fish is out here. There she is. Woo! Ah! Oh. Well, it was a mighty fight. <laughs> and she got the better of me. In the end, I'd say the leader went. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. 80 pound leader. And uh, yeah, it's all roughed up all the way through. I'm really happy to see her go. She was that close, probably only 20 metres in it. That was probably her last little lunge. But there you go. Some days you win, some days you lose. And I'm happy she's free to swim in the water again. Ah, what a battle, eh? <laughs> and there's more coming up. my Quintrex cruise about 570 safely out on the water, I'm all set to cruise about for a fishing opportunity, which right now turns out to be the bait. It's low tide on the Port Hacking River just south of Sydney and uh, like all estuaries, when the tide's right out, there's lots of sand flats and lots of mud banks. Often we're up on the flats catching pinky abbeys, but if we walk across here, you can see there's loads of weed. And if you can hear for a second, it's these clicking noises and it's made by the green nipper and it grows about yay long. Now, it's very difficult to catch, you can't pump them. The only way you can do is, we used to call it bogging. And basically it's just turning over the mud. The green nipper, well he doesn't like the murky water and he comes right up and shows his head. And that's when we grab him. It's time to get a little dirt on your hands and come up with an irresistible live bait. Let's have a look. Okay. There we go. He looks a bit meaner, doesn't he? Super big nipper there or clicker. He's the big boy. He makes the loud noise across the flat. Real clicking. Sort of loud click noise. There's another one just here. You see him? He's working his way. Just under here. Yes, sir. Oh, he had a big click, Sam. So both of those will go on a whiting hook. And the whiting do just love them. The whiting get up here on the flats. And they devour these guys. 
And in a weed patch like this, it's not long before you're loaded with bait. Well, we've got a few in the bucket and a few more in my hand I've just picked up. Another half a dozen there, plus a nice big squirt worm and the odd cockle. These are beautiful bait for brim as well. So get up on the weed banks, have a bit of a look around, and you never know, you could land yourself some fantastic live bait. Well, there you go. I came straight back to the bone, flicked it out, and what have I got here? Something pulling pretty hard. Look at that big guy. Now there's a nice whiting. And as I said, it pays to fish where the big fish are and where they're coming up to feed. Look at that, that's a cracker. That's a beautiful whiting. Big elbow slapper. What a ripper, eh? That is a quality fish. And with a kicking fresh live bait you've just caught yourself, it's the ultimate quality fishing experience. The brand new G2 Evinrude 250 is purring powerfully out of Port Stephens. The dolphin is still scaring up the bait fish and I'm ready on my Quintrex Trident to take on another marlin one-on-one. -on -one. Well, fish number three. There he is. Oh, nice fish. Oh, nice fish. Oh, look at him go. Woohoo! Whoa, away he goes. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, again. Oh, look at that one. Woo! Oh, again. Wow. <laughs> this fish is trucking. Well, fish number three. Let's see if we're lucky today. Let's see if we're lucky with this one. Come on, baby. Get some pace. Oh, there she is. Whoa. Oh, another one. Not the easiest thing in the world to do is land a marlin single-handedly. And uh, I'm jumping all around like a mad hatter, trying to make sure I don't run over the line. I get enough line back on the reel. And the fish stays connected at all times. Come on, buddy. On the beautiful 690 Trident, the Quintrex boat. And the boys have built it with a hard top this year. They've built it for this style of stuff. For guys to be able to get offshore and to be able to work over really solid fish. Got a beautiful E-Tech, it only got put on a couple of days ago. Beautiful 250, one of the new generation two G2 motors. And it is purring, it is fantastic. And the fuel efficiency, incredible. And the torque. Oh! Over the shoulder, there she goes again. Woo! All right. Oh! Holy moly! That is a jumping fish. Unbelievable. Oh, again! Again! Oh, my God. Oh, she's still going. I reckon that's got to wear her out, eh? That's amazing. I'm using this beautiful Stella, it's the 18,000 salt water. I've got a nice strong braid, I've actually used this braid for casting poppers to GTs and so she's uh, pretty strong stuff, 80 pound. And the last litre broke, I changed it over and just upped it by 20 pound to, to 100 pound. So I'm hoping there's enough wear and tear in it to land this fish. Pretty tired fish. Just got to get into the boat now. And that's a tricky part when you're here by yourself, because this is where you need to do a fair bit of manoeuvring with the wheel. As I work both the wheel and the reel to get the fish closer to the boat, my line isn't the only thing under extreme tension right now. Ah, fun games at Port Stevens. But finally, all that tension in my arms and my shoulders and on my nerves begins to pay off. Oh. 
and fish and boat come together at last. Look at that. Woo! That's slow. That's a beautiful fish. Black marlin, eh? Oh. Yeah, baby. Woo! That is a beast of an animal. And not a monster by any means, but a really stubborn fish. A nice medium black. The hook's right in the corner of his mouth, so there should be no problems about getting that out. Wow, what a beautiful black marlin, hey? And that's what it's all about, coming up to Port Stephens. You can do it in a trailer boat. I'm in this beautiful Quintrex, and uh, I'm a real happy boy, let me tell you. It's just great to be out here on the water. All right, we're going to let this guy go. See you later, buddy. Thank you very much. That was fantastic. Look at that. Now, is that good or what? <laughs> I'm out on a Hobie Pro Angler 14 fishing kayak from my friends at the great new Hunts Marine Hobie showroom at Coromall. And I'm rigged for what I hope could be a kingfish. So this is the rig I'm using. Um, nice and light, two to five kilo revolution. Series rod, it is an absolute beauty. I've only got four pound braid and uh, I've got a nice length of mono at the moment. I'm just putting some fluorocarbon on, it's 12 pound. All right, here we go. Well, the bait has absolutely poured in over the flat on this incoming tide, and there are fish going berserk everywhere. I just hooked up on a tailor, and something has just eaten the tailor. Not quite sure what it is, but I'm out here today on this beautiful Pro Angler 14 Hobie, and I'm getting so much enjoyment out of being able to, to fish on Hobies this year. I never realised a, a kayak could be so stable. For instance, just hop straight up. You can fight the fish standing up, actually, I probably will. And how's this for a cool Camzilla action camera angle? Come on, buddy. Good thing is, you know it's not a stingray when they eat your tailor. <laughs> All right, working him up. Getting closer. Yeah, there's colour. There is colour. Come on, buddy. There's colour. Oh, it's a king. After all that, a little king. Wasn't as big as I thought. Ooh. Well, after all that, not a monster, not a monster like I thought it might be. Still a little handsome little kingfish. They're a beautiful fish. Now I definitely hooked a tailor on this soft plastic. I'm not quite sure if this guy came up and stole the soft plastic off him. Whatever the case, I ended up going from a tailor to a kingfish. Away you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed my fishing video. If you did, make sure you like it and comment below. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and tell a friend and make sure you press the notification bell so you're notified of our next video.